Welcome! In front of me I have MSFit GTS 3 and I'm gonna show you how to customize the widgets on this watch. First, let's wake up the screen on our watch. You can do it by pressing the crown button or the side button or by tapping on the screen. Once you wake up the screen, we can open the widget menu or the widget list. To do it, make sure you're on the home screen, the current watch face, and then you can swipe left or right on the screen to browse the list of widgets. And we have widgets like, um, I don't know, P PAI, I believe, uh, heart rate, um, weather, no, this, this is the PAI. Huh. I don't know what the first one is then. Sleep data and I believe the sh shortcut cards or whatever it's called. So this is the list of widgets and we can customize this list. To do it, we need to open the settings. So let's press the crown button to open the menu. Scroll through the menu, find the settings icon and tap on it. In settings, scroll down, find the option called preferences and tap on it. Now, scroll down, find the option called Widget, and select it. And here we have the list of the widgets. Oh, the first one was called Activity, actually. My bad. Anyway, <coughs> we can do a couple of things. We can add new widget, remove the widget, and reorder the, the, the list of widgets. Basically, move them up or down on the list. To add new widget, simply tap on the plus button, scroll down and find the widget, for example, uh, stress. Okay, I tapped on stress apparently, but let's some select something else, maybe music. So find the music and tap on it. And then you can move it on the list by swiping up and down. So basically you can place, place it on the first place, second place and stuff like that. I'm gonna place it <coughs> right behind the sleep and then tap on the check mark. So now behind the sleep, we should have music. So if I go back to uh, widgets, scroll through the list, you should see the music behind the sleep right here. Okay, let's go back to settings. Preferences, widget. Okay, to remove the widget from the list, tap on it to select it, and then tap on the bin icon to remove it like this. And if you want to reorder the list, simply tap on the widget you want to move and then swipe on the screen to move it and tap on the check mark to place it in the place like this. And once we go back to the widget list, the sleep should be gone and the music should be second, as you can see. Okay. You can also customize this list via the phone application. So we can bring our phone that is paired with our watch. Right here, zoom out the camera. Like that. Move the watch closer to the phone. This here. And now let's open the Zep application on the phone that is paired with our watch. In the application, you should see the home page. Now tap on the profile icon. Select your MSFit GTS 3 from the list. And here, tap on the watch settings. Now, tap on the Edit Quick Access Apps option. And here we have the list of widgets. And we can do the same things. We can add the widget to the list, uh, change the position of the widgets, and remove the widget. To add the widget, simply tap on the plus button next to the widget on the list of available quick access apps. Like that, it's gonna appear on the list on the top. <coughs> to remove the widget, simply tap on the minus button next to the one. Like this. And if you want to move the widget on the list, you can simply press and hold on the sorting button next to it. And once you press and hold on the sorting button, you should be able to uh, drag it around. Come on. It's a bit wonky to be honest, but that's how it works. So it should be, oh, okay, I grabbed it. And you can move it around by swiping up and down. 
and then you can release it to drop it like this. Also, you can move the items from the list at the bottom to the list to the top, like this. You don't need to tap on the plus and minus buttons. And once you're done, you can tap on the save button right here in the top right corner to save the settings. And when you wake up the screen on your watch and scroll through the widgets, you will see that the changes were applied. Okay, and then you can close the app. And that's how you customize the widgets on this watch. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.